I have this vision of all of us being at Austin Stadium. You know, I'm calling it Ashley's the pregame show. You're there. It's our greatest joy to go to these games. And, and that is not going to happen in the immediate future. What do, what do you want to say to the student athletes who love this craft even more than we love going and covering and being part of it? Yeah. Well, everyone that was involved in this uh, feels a heavy weight of responsibility and feels, feels the pain and the loss that's involved uh, with this. You know, folks on our campuses have every reason to want to play. Coaches have every reason to want to play. Administrators and certainly everyone conference office. That's what we work for every day to create these opportunities for student athletes. But we also realize that this has been a time of tremendous anxiety and uncertainty and worry. I mean, I've, I've been on Zoom calls with parents of our student athletes. I think we had 1,200 parents of our student athletes that got on a Zoom call unprecedented with our medical advice. They had some amazing questions. Uh, you know, so it was clear the anxiety and uncertainty the families were feeling. Similar calls with our student athletes and our medical advisors and other student athlete groups. I meet with you know, a litany of questions and concerns. And so what I want student athletes to know is very, very reluctantly uh, made the decision because we felt that like we couldn't have solid enough answers to these questions, give the kind of assurances that we'd like to be able to give about uh, the risks and the exposure and the protocols and all that. Um, and that we won't move forward until, until we can because student athlete health and safety is first and foremost. And I hope after folks do get over the disappointment that people appreciate that Pac-12 universities have student athletes welfare and their long-term success in mind first and foremost. And the coaches in this league really believe that deeply. That's not just a bumper sticker. I mean, they really believe that deeply. I can tell you I had an amazing call with our football coaches and athletics directors yesterday where they heard some of this medical advice and rather than pushing back and debating, they said, thank you for sharing with us the truth and your concerns uh, for us as our staff, our student athletes and, and all that. Now we can make informed decisions. We care about our student athletes. And then the last thing I'd want to say to student athletes is, you know, things will improve. They will get better and we will be back. And as soon as we can safely, no one's going to be working harder toward that than your coaches, your athletics departments, the conference office. Um, and it's going to be awesome when we, when we come back, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. But you can feel confident that in this league, with your coaches and your programs, that they're not going to ask you to do that until we've got a higher degree of confidence in your safety. 